Hey guys, it's Mike again. Uh, we just got back from Shields doing another little tackle shopping spree. I was trying to get some uh, kind of late summer baits and restocking a couple uh, hooks and weights and some random stuff. But uh, we'll go into it. It's an unbagging video, not an unboxing. So, And as I said, it's from Shield. Let's see here. And ended up spending around 120 bucks. So, decent amount of stuff. Jump into her. Alright, first off, we have some Seismic Shads, or Kalen Seismic Shads. Um, I planned on throwing some deep, deep swim baits, so this was the color of choice here. I'll get it out. It's. It doesn't say what color this is. Oh, it's bluegill, sorry. It's right up top. It's bluegill. That's what I figured. That's why I bought it. But uh, it's a real nice color. It's blue on the bottom. And it's like it's kind of like a big hammer shad, if you know what those are. I'll get those put back in there if I can. Uh, but yeah, I got some big jig heads to throw them onto, or swim heads. Uh, yeah, they're 4.8 inch, so they're a decent size little bait. Uh, they got the boot tail, so they'll kick out pretty wide, so that'll be nice. I'll set those off to the side, move on. All right. Sticking with the late summer theme, I got a Storm Arashi Deep. It's a deep 10, so it goes down to 10 feet. And, yeah, I haven't really fished Arashis, so I wanted to give them a shot. I uh, didn't realize they were nine bucks. I thought oh, it's that storm as like kind of a lower end brand, but they're really, really stepping it up this year or the last few years, I should say. It's rattling, so it's not a silent, so that'll be good. I got a nice bright. It's like a citrus shad color. Uh, they call it a parrot. So yeah, it's pretty much citrus shad. Only this is their version. Uh, the lakes are really stained around here. Right, rain this. And yeah, move that over there. Okay, got a Spro Poppin' Frog, and this is just in the uh, green tree for Green Tree Frog. It's got a yellow belly. It's it's your generic uh, frog color frog. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um, I've been getting them mostly on black frogs lately. The water is super super stained, but it's slowly clearing up. So I thought it'd go a little more natural, but it'll still have a nice bright belly on it. So yep, Spro Poppin' Frog. Spro never fails. So. Yes. Next. Oh, we'll do all those at once. Next up, we have a Crush 250 MD by Six Cents. It's in the bluegill color. Old well, baby bluegill, I should say. This goes 7 to 12 feet, I believe. And it's just another really nice, uh, super natural color for our lakes around here. Like I said, they're kind of clearing up, so this will actually be a player this year still. And yeah, it'll go nice and deep, and we'll maybe try to hunt down some schools. Next, we got another Crush 250 MD. This one is in the Citrus Craze color. It's a nice bright white with the uh, blue, green, and kind of yellow back on it. So a nice bright color for the bass to kind of key in on in that deeper stained water. So yeah, it's the same as this one. They both go 7 to 12. Six, six cents, they're pretty good. They're really high quality, so recommend them to anybody if you guys are looking to try those out. All right, kind of... Oh, there's these. All right, here's the Kalen's uh, Ultimate Series Swim Bait Jigs. Uh, they're the heads for these... Uh, Seismic Shads, they're a half ounce, so that'll get it down nice and deep. But yeah, it's a three pack there. So that over. Okay. Heard tons and tons of great things about the Gambler BB Cricket. I, I've always kind of like avoided buying them for whatever reason, because I always just buy a ton of ugly otters. So uh, we finally bit on the BB Cricket. Uh, if you ever have watched Mikey Ball's fishing channel, uh, he throws this around quite a bit in black and blue down in Florida there. But uh, yeah, they come in a couple different sizes, I believe. And they, oh, 
<laughs> they are very garlicky, just like uh, most other gambler flipping baits. But yeah, it's just kind of like a real small craw bait, but it's more compact, so it's a great puncher. Okay, got more gamblers. <laughs> There's the ugly otters I was talking about. Uh, I fish, whenever I fish an ugly otter, I usually use it in stained water because they have more of a paddle tail. They don't really uh, flutter, they kick, they put out more vibration. So uh, I actually bought kind of a more natural, sunny day, clear water color. So good old watermelon red flake. These are also extremely garlicky, but uh, yeah, let's see if I can set it there. See it what? See it well? Yeah. It's your generic watermelon red and black flake. Yeah, Gambler Ugly Otters. Probably one of my new favorite flipping baits, but uh, not quite my favorite favorite. Um, I'll show you what my favorite one is right here. And it looks like we got a few packs of those. Okay. And my favorite flipping bait of all time is the Missile Baits D-Bomb. Uh, this one is in the green pumpkin red color. Self-explanatory, just about the same as the watermelon. Um, it's essentially a beaver style bait, but uh, it's got a couple more appendages. They have really, really great action and they punch really well. They have a pretty unique scent to them too. I can't really describe it, but uh, Missile Baits, you gotta love them. <laughs> All right, next we have Missile Baits D-Bombs in the California Love color. It's, you can see how dark it is on the one side of them. Uh, they're basically, they're a red and black. I'm sorry, it's a green pumpkin black with a red flake. It's kind of half and half, so it's kind of really dark for the stained waters, but trying to keep it a little more natural with a green at the same time. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Uh, honestly, my favorite uh, bait for fishing water that's just barely classified as stained and clear is a uh, Missile Baits D-Bomb in the Super Bug color. And all right, next we have another set of D-Bombs. This one is in the Love Bug color. It's a pretty awesome looking color. Let's see why here. It's half June Bug kind of a half kind of reddish craw color on the bottom and it's got a, a June bug tealish blue flake in it so it looks pretty nice and it's another kind of a good stain water bait okay next we got some sunflower seeds the best just love these things just kidding those are for me uh, <laughs> All right, um, I bought a new set of stainless steel <laughs> six and a half inch Rapala pliers. These are the split ring pliers, and they, uh, yeah, they're split rings, split shot crimpers, uh, the Rapala lure turning tool, and just a good set of needle noses. Uh, my last set of real long skinny pliers, so the tip of it broke off, so I had to get rid of that, so it was time to get a new tool here for the boat, and it will definitely come in handy. Okay, next, if we can get them all out here, just give me one sec. All right, next, we got some weight, or weight and bobber stops. These are the six cents, they're pegs, they're called peg X's, as you can see. And uh, they just had a couple packs of these left, so I had to grab them. They're only two bucks a piece. Uh, they're really awesome. Uh, these six cents ones, they really hold the weight in place well. Uh, if you buy like a regular bobber stop, like a Bass Pro brand bobber stop or something, uh, it won't really hold anything over a half ounce in place. So <laughs> yeah, you usually have to use two of them. But these ones are nice and strong. They can hold it in place with just one of them. So I recommend those to anybody. And also, uh, I grabbed the last of these. They had a couple uh, VMC sinker stops. Uh, they're basically the same thing. They're a little cheaper too. So I grabbed the rest of those. So you can never have too many of those. And then I <laughs> they didn't really have a whole lot of tungsten left, so I kind of bought out the rest of them. 
Uh, they had some one eighth ounce tungstens there. I bought the last couple packs of them. Uh, it's really nice for your smaller Texas rigs and little worms. So grab those. And then also they had one pack of the three eighths left, so I grabbed those also. And yeah, definitely gonna need those stops. And last but not least, we got a couple packs of uh, four out offset shanks by Gamakatsu. Uh, you can never have too many of these. But uh, yeah, I was looking for some five outs, but they are out too. I need some bigger hooks for my bigger flipping baits. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna get this all laid out for you, and we'll see you in a sec. All right, you guys. Here's everything we got today. I got a couple deep or three deeper cranks, some big swim baits, swim bait heads, nice popping frog, a little terminal tungstens, and offset shank worm or sorry, offset shank worm EWG hooks, some gambler flipping baits, new pliers, and some missile flipping baits, and of course we got the barbecue sunflower seeds. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please, please. Leave a like for me, uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and also um, please leave a suggestion in the comments if you have any uh, videos or ideas of what you would like to see. Um, feedback is always, always appreciated, so once again guys, this was Mike, and thank you for